special guest, Jay Wilds. Jay Wilds in the building. Hey. So, tell us about Wild Boy Entertainment. Oh, man. Um, well, it started, I, I used to rap, and I, I lost interest in that whole thing, the whole, even the whole scene of music. Um, I think it's like extremely negative, and it just didn't work for me, but I love to entertain. So, I came up with this, this idea, and this, um, I have a partner, my brother-in-law, Kenny Mack. Shout out to Kenny Mack. Um, me and him got together. I'm like, listen, we have been we always joked around and called ourselves the Wild Boys. We've been doing it probably since like 2008. I said, let's just really come together and try to present something different. You know, so where we're not just DJing, but we're entertaining. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our slogan is we're not just DJs, we're entertainers. So we try to do a little more interacting than what you will see from your normal DJ, and it don't matter what we DJ in the cookout, graduation party, um, and regular club. So club. how exactly are you, like, what do you do? I'll do stuff like, for example, at one of the last, the graduation party I did, I just threw on, like, Run This Town karaoke, and I jumped out there in the middle of the party and just did that one karaoke song, me and Kendall, and um, um, actually, Kim was there, too. And, you know, we you. did run this town. We turned it up. And then we went right back to, just went right back to the party. And everybody okay. loved it. You know, everywhere we go, people like, I love y'all. I love y'all energy. Y'all always, y'all interact with everybody. Y'all be a part. You know, we didn't want to do the, the typical, and not a knock at anybody else and what they're doing. Because um, I definitely have respect for the DJ game mm -hmm. and what the DJs do. But... We didn't want to do the typical hype man standing there and DJ, DJ, and the hype man saying, oh, blah, 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 make sure you tip your bartender in the way. Oh, look at Shorty. She out there going up. You know? Right. It's cool. That's what they do. But we wanted to get out there in Iraq. So when Wobble come on, we're not just sitting back there like, Wobble, Wobble, Wobble. We, we out there wobbling with everybody. Oh, nice. We're, we're, we're mixing it up. And, um, and right now, I got a few girls. We call them the Wild Girls. We use them to get out there. Oh, shit. We use them to get out there to, to if people are not really into it, try to get people into it. I make my special drink called Butt Naked Juice. Have oh. them pass it out, you know. <laughs> butt Naked Juice. Yeah, Butt Naked oh. Juice. <laughs> yes. yes. So, so basically, if people are standing on the wall, you can get them we gonna out get there them in the crowd. The wall. Oh, okay. We, okay. That's, okay. That's the goal, to get them off the wall. But if you come to a party, you come to party. You know, um... I never, it's like everything is so reversed now. I remember when I was telling Diamond, you know, I know you know my brothers. I remember when they used to throw their house parties and their parties, like everybody used to dance. Now the girls come, they're so dressed up that they can't even dance. Like they so, and I'm not saying they shouldn't look nice. I'm not, I'm not saying that. You know, you want to look nice when you go out. But they be so, so dressed up that they can't even dance. And all they do, they might, you know, be with their homegirls. They'll twerk a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and then they'll stop. Like, hey, hey, girl. And that'll be it. But it's like, what happened to a time when people was out there dancing, enjoying the party? Right. You know, so. Oh, I don't care what I got on. I'm dancing. Yeah, but Long you know. I got enough drinking myself. Yeah. yeah. You know. See, <laughs> I, however you got to do it. But yeah, so <laughs> we just want to encourage people to enjoy the party. Don't miss the party. Um. Put down, put down your phone. You can't enjoy a party if you're snapping the whole party. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. can't enjoy the party if you face Facebook Live in the whole party. Yeah. You know, do a little something. Can you something, imagine something. back in the day we had no kids? You couldn't do all that. You, 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 <laughs> you just party. You just party. You didn't. You did. You wasn't worried. I mean, I I'll go to some places, and this is all you see. Everybody's like this, down in their phone. Then you see a couple of. Take Even picture. on dates nowadays, I hear that's how it go too. Like, no. people on their phone. No, so, yeah, but that's the whole thing of Wild Boy Entertainment. But we also have, oh my God, I have so many I see things. that you have catering on here. Yes, I do catering as well. Um, and we have so many things. I have, um, I have like a little skit show that I'm putting together, like a, a live Chappelle 
type show mm-hmm. thing. Um, I, I just want to do so much. I want to do more than just DJing, which right. is why, like I said, we're not just DJs, we're entertainers. Right. I want to do more than just DJing, and, but music is always a uh, very important part of everything you do. Like, music is life. It, it's life, literally. Like, it gives us life when we're down. It, it makes those down emotions that much more powerful mm-hmm. when you listen to that. Whatever slow song or ballad is your mm-hmm. vice. Um, I, I can relate because it'll be times where I'm down and I'm just in a house and I cut my music on and next thing you know, like, I'm good. Like, it can make you feel sad, but it make you feel better at the same time. You know, it's music. And at the same time, you got music that just, when you hear that certain song, it makes you gives you that feeling in your stomach it just makes you feel good no matter what your mood is like oh this is my song right. you know so music is always an, a very important part music and food you know <laughs> yeah, people you, you know people music love and music food. and food you know so you you put those things together you add a couple of other elements um i'm putting together uh um well i'm not putting it together but um Kay Holloway is putting together a band. We're going to set up a thing where she has her band come through. They play our cater event. It'll be a nice, elegant night. It's going to be some, probably in late August, um, sometime in late August. But there's so many things that's coming through Wild Boy Entertainment. That's um, well, I'm just trying to take it to a different level as far as just, just DJ, you know, um, and of course, like I said, I, I definitely love <clears throat> I love the DJing. I definitely have respect for everybody who DJ, all the DJs who came before me. You know, I can admit I'm still new to the whole DJing game. Right. But um, you know, that's why when I saw DJ name, I was like, when he started DJing. I mean, I've been doing it off and on, but like consistently, I'm new to it. Right. Right. You know, so um. So you said that you you once was a rapper, but you. You yeah, stopped. Yeah, you gave, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to say that you gave up on your dream, but you, you know, you lost your patience for that. So, um, do you keep up with any of the local rappers in Baltimore right now? Um, I definitely do at this point because okay. when DJ. I'm DJing a party in Baltimore, if you ain't playing no, uh, no Scola or, or, um, Lower Scooter or any of them people, man, somebody gonna come for your neck. Right, exactly. You know, so that's so, you know, I was gonna ask you that since you said you know you And I definitely try to support people who are on the come up. I always tell people, Hey, listen, send me your music, I'll play it. Okay. Send me your music, I'll play it. You know, I can't I'm not responsible for how the crowd reacts to it. Right. But I'll play it. You know, right. you know, we all we, we gotta help I, each other. I know, yeah. I like those kids that, that money man song. I told him I want him to play that. I yeah. like that. I like them dudes. <laughs> yeah, I I love um it's a few um, local rappers from Baltimore that I like, but I'm not good at names, so I don't I don't be yeah. knowing the names. But yeah, don't even yeah. get me. Don't even get a lot me started of little on that. Baltimore rappers, they they want to come up. I like. Yeah, it. and I and I can appreciate. I can appreciate anybody who's willing to be a part of this industry because to me it's just like like I said, I don't. Do you think that um, little Scooter? Do you think that he gave um, Baltimore rappers a lot of hope? Um. I think he did. I, I think a lot a lot of people who even came before him, um, shout out to, um, you know, oh, it's a lot of, it's so many people, it's so many people that came before him that, you know, you got Tim Trees, you got um, Be Rich, you got all these people who, they, who was, who. They more older though, like but talking about. But what like, I'm saying is though, but now it's like they they done it then. You think basically they gave they was somebody who gave little school to hope? Yeah, they they definitely paved the way. If you don't mm-hmm. have no respect for none of them, for none of the local artists that right. came before him, it's like that's that's just in hip hop period. If right. you don't have respect for the ones who came before you and paved the way, because yeah, Be Rich may not have made it to this level, or Tim Trees may not have made it to this level. Um, but they was out there. They was they was doing it, and they they did put um, Baltimore. Even people like uh, DJ Class and people like that. Um, the Yo Boys, Don McKay. I know you know the Yo Boys. Yeah, because I was a Yo Boys. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. You know who the Yo Boys are? <laughs> I was a don't Yo Boy. Don't make me feel old. I don't know who they are, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry, but um. 
I mean, but basically what I'm saying is, like, before Lil Scooter, like, who was, like, who, like, made it before him? Like, it's, I, I as think far it's as been rap, a minute. As far as yeah, rap Yeah, as far thing, as rap, I think it's been a minute. Um, That's what I'm saying. And you said I don't think Tim it's Tree. Been, you feel me? That's why I'm been, saying it's been like, a minute. I'm talking about that made it outside Tim that. I mean, he kind of knew though. He kind of want. He kind of before school. I just just gave you some. Before Tate, then. Boss man. Boss man definitely did. Boss man, okay. It's a lot of people. The way like school that invented the game. No, I'm I'm saying as far as recently. I'm far as as far as recently. Like now, it just seems like I see a lot of young dudes like really like putting it out there. Like I don't know if it's, it's always somebody. Every generation has somebody. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, you right. Every four or five years, there's somebody new. Right. Yeah. You right. Definitely. Um, I just think, well, that that whole bird flu thing, as far as little school to go, mm-hmm. it, it just um, because it it encompassed the city as well as talking about, you know, the, the teams we have here, you know, they talked about what really goes on in the city as well, and um, mm-hmm. I think a lot of people. Was able to relate to that on, on both levels, so um, I definitely think he he will now be an influence for those who are coming up. And how can we forget Young and May? What? Who? Who? Young and May? What they sing? I told you I don't know people by <laughs> names. I know songs. Like ooh. Oh, damn! Mm-hmm. They from Baltimore? <laughs> I, I didn't know she, that. She sounds like a guy, but she's... Oh, she. Oh. Yeah. 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 She is from Baltimore. Yeah. 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 Okay. But no, um, and then you got the internet today that makes things more popular and mm-hmm. makes people get their self out there more. And then, like, it only take one good beat, yeah. a catchy hook, and today, and a poor, good dance. And poor lyrics or, and a good dance. No, I, <laughs> no not, not poor lyrics because ain't nobody that beat... <laughs> The one good hook and a good dance. Yeah, no, just yeah, like definitely. Just like the dance. Like, when people see the little dances, they like, Listen, yeah. I came up with a dance, right? It's called the <laughs> Freaky J. I promise you, if, you if I get the show? right person to make a song about it, I'm, I'm probably you, you not going to do, do it on the, on the show. I'm probably not going to do it you on want, the show. Okay. But, um, yeah, that sound a little like... Because I can't give it away right now. I don't want somebody, next thing you know, be a Freaky J song out. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, I just made this dance up. And, you know, I want my credit. I don't want to get paid for it. I just want my credit. Right. Don't, don't, don't steal my dance. I'll reveal it when the time is right. <laughs> you silly, man. But it, it'll fit right in with, with all the dabbing. And then, you know, I don't see how dabbing is a dance. But, you know, it'll fit right in with all mm-hmm. that stuff. The folks. Yeah. All, that, all that craziness. I, I see it, same. I see it, same. I know I'm kind of old. I'm a little stiff, but that's all right. I still know what the young people want. Don't judge me. <laughs> Silly. But yeah, so um, where can um, everybody contact you at if they need some DJing or some <laughs> catering, karaoke? They can just get my card. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, you can definitely find me on... IG, that'll be Wild Boy E N T Wild W Y L D underscore B O I underscore E N T um, on Instagram, or you can contact me directly. I don't use my business number that much. At four one zero eight seven zero eight nine two one, or contact Kenny Mack at four four three four nine zero two five seven two. And you can hit us at wildboyent at gmail.com. All right. Sounds good, buddy. Yeah, we do, uh, like I said, we DJ, we cater, we do daycare, and we sell weed. Police don't know when to kick in the door. And you know that. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll sell weed. Don't, don't call me for no weed. <laughs> I might do the Freaky J to that song. Uh, I, I might have to. I might come out. 
It might come up. Come on, play the song. Play the song so you can do this dance. 